Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at XRP. We've had a little bit of a push up here with the um, the CPI data release. So we're going to be seeing whether we think that there's potential for this to progress to the upside in a bigger five wave move or if we think that we are going to see some pain coming in shortly. Okay. So before we jump into that, I'd just like to say thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy the content, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Almost at 100 subs would really appreciate um, getting us over the line with that. Uh, and leave us some comments down below with some altcoins maybe you want us to look at some TA on or just any kind of feedback. Okay, so let's jump into the price section now. So there were a few ways that we're looking at this and in the previous video I covered um, the macro side and basically there's a potential that we either within a C wave to the upside or we could still be looking for a, a fifth wave to the downside here in a five wave move. So this is looking at the, the potential that we are in the C wave here and what we're looking at here is the potential we have one, two, one, two, one, two. Like I said before, this I don't really like the structure that much though it hasn't invalidated. So until that point, um, we could still be within this uh, this teal five wave move that I put plotted out here. With that with that move, what we'd be looking at is the potential that we are we have either completed at this point here. Um, if I zoom in a little bit more, so either we would have completed at this Y wave low point here, or alternatively, we might still have some more to go if this is actually turning out to be a uh, more complex correction here within this move um, and we could look to target out lower down towards this um, 35.89 area but we have moved down to this 0.618 retracement and we've started to move away from here so until we break back down past this point here we could we could um, look for potential to move away from this area so actually let me go over what can this can also be so instead of um what we can need to pay attention to is that we could also have a um, something like this rather developing where we have this as a WXY um, and what we could look at here is the potential for a flat correction with it in this and this is a A, a B and then upon completion of this five wave move if it hasn't finished already what we would be looking for is continuation to the downside in another three wave move. So this has slightly changed things from where we had this previous one to one earlier. So I'm going to just reevaluate this and what we'd be looking at here is the potential that, so we could technically move down towards this 3521 area at a one to one um, if this does play out as a bigger, as a bigger complex correction here. Uh, though until we lose this 3707, we need to be aware that we could still look for some upside potential. So looking at this for the upside potential, if I just get rid of this WXY now because we don't need it anymore. Um, what we need to be aware of is that we have some strange, a little bit of a strange structure here. Uh, there's a couple of ways of counting this and we could have this as a five wave move basically completed. This is a one two into this low, then one, two, three, this is a four, five for third wave, fifth wave, up to that point there, and it's truncated. Though we could also still be within this fourth wave because we've not broken down past this point and invalidation would only come by dropping below this 3781. For as long as we stay above that area, what we could actually still have is a more complex um, fourth wave within this move where this is an A, a B, and then we've got one, two, three. Uh, it could be completed, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, and five. So it is possible that what we have here is a an A, a B, and a C. So if I throw the fib on this and we have a look from here to this high point here, you can see we've not challenged the, um, the 382 area. So it is possible there's a little bit more downside here. It doesn't have to challenge it, but um, it could potentially look to move just a little bit lower down towards this 3872 area should we carry on to drop. We can see this is um, this previous top zone here and there's some uh, support or is it resistance within this area. So we could have potentially turned this, flip this into support and then look to move away. Um, though if we move, 
if we start to move down towards this um, 50% to the 618 area, so that's 3844 to, if I just slide this bad boy over slightly, if it'll let me select it. Let's try this again. There we go. So there's 3844 to this 3815. Um, then I would start be I would be less inclined to think that um, that we are, still have this fifth wave to the upside. So I'm just going to do it off this uh, off this 382. Like I said, this could potentially be completed as a one, two, three, four, and a five into here. Alternatively, we could still have one little leg to the downside and a fifth wave. Um, which if it if we do what we would be looking at is a target area of somewhere around this 3871 to this 3857 which we can see the higher range of this would line up quite nicely with this 382 so i'm going to take that as a um as an area that i'm going to be looking at and we will project this back to the upside here if we project this up we can see that potentially there's a move here of an inner fifth wave so long as we don't move down past that um, that area that we indicated here of this 3781, there is a move potential to move up into this 40 cent 31 area to this 39.93 as a um, basically as a uh, fifth wave. So within this, you know, there's not there's not actually a, a lot to get bullish of because we've just had this as a, a potential WX and a Y into this low point here, and we just have a standalone five wave move. Um, there's nothing really to get excited about at that point. Though, because like I said, this could actually be um, the C wave of a flat here. And if we break down and lose this 3707, that would confirm to me that, that we have this flat. But only with, with this move, so we would be looking to move up. Let me just actually throw some labels on this bad boy up here. There we go. Drag this down to there. Um, if we do move up as a five wave move within this and we look to target uh, maybe the bottom area of this, what we could then be looking at is for potential to move back down into this zone here of this uh, 0.5. Sorry, the 0.5 to the 786 area, which is 38 cent 52 to this um, 37.69. That would be a typical area that we could look for support. The 618 is um, particularly interesting generally with with these retracements. It's a good area to sort of try and target out, and we can see here that um, it would be sort of a previous support zone here that we found on this bounce to the upside. So what we would be looking for is when this completes a move down into this area, and if it is going to progress and we manage to hold this 37.07 um, area, what we'd be looking for then is potential that we could have a bigger move to the upside here in the one, two, three, four, and a five. So with this move, we would be looking at the potential of moving up. If we moved into there, if we trace down to here. So at that point, basically confirmation would come by a push up to this 43.23, and then we'd be looking at this being um, within a within this teal wave three over here. So what I just actually want to check this, but I think uh, let me throw a line on this quickly so I don't lose the point. Uh, get it on there. Okay. Let me actually change this blue quickly so it doesn't get confusing. And that's there, that's there, that's there. What we would be looking for here is this move to the upside. If I can get this on you, let's zoom in. Come on, get on there. There we go. Down to there, into this low here. It's actually moved up slightly. So basically, only a move up past this. Um, 50 cents 68 would give us a bigger impulse here and like you can see so you know even just based off of this move here even if we do start to form another five wave move here um our, our target area is well below that but if we do develop this move we would be looking at a potential um five wave move that could look to target out if i put this on the three two look for uh, the upside potential here these moves are all um, 
theoretical until we get the, the confirmation in the structure. So just bear that in mind. So we could potentially look for a bigger five way move up here to this 4474 area to this 4391 area. So this would be on the assumption that we first off complete this fifth wave to the upside here, or potentially if it is completed within here, that we retrace back down towards this um, support zone area which slightly changes because if, if it's completed here, it, it might be slightly different, but I'll still be looking out at this sort of this sort of zone here because if we throw this on here quickly from this low point up into this high point here, we can see that this 618 and this 50% still are sort of within this zone. So I'd be looking for a move down into this area anyway. Um, if that does play out, then we could be looking for um, this five-way move, though. We need to stay above this 3707 for that bullish potential. Otherwise, like I said, we could be looking for a move down towards this 3520 should it start to break down. We also have the potential that we are, if I just flip this over into the, um, into the other count quickly. Let's turn this off, turn this off. And we turn on to the uh, five wave macro. Until we break back above this high at 41.49, we need to just bear in mind that this could actually be a completed um, correction in here. And we are forming some kind of a starting move for this fifth wave. Though the structure is really not good, the only way that we could potentially look at it. Um, would be that maybe we have a diagonal forming here where this is uh, so it is longer than three and just fact checking some things here quickly because these waves have some rules to them and we need to just bear in mind that we adhere to the rules uh, okay so that's all good so it is possible we have a diagonal here, but though I don't like the structure really as a diagonal, but even as a diagonal, they're not very high confidence. Um, this could just be an A, a B, and a C. But if we do manage to, if we do start to break down and we start taking out these low points here of this 34.58 and then this 32.10 and finally this 31.60, we could potentially be within this fifth wave move to this area here of 29.73 to 26.92. That'd be a typical um, travel area, though. Like I said before, though we need um, we need more confirmation for this if this is what is playing out, and what we would need to see is a retracement to the upside here, and then to start to break down and hit some of those um, impulsive triggers. So, or for this current move, I can measure this out, but the structure is not good, so it's actually not worth it's not worth me doing that yet. Um, like I said, I'm keeping an eye on this. It doesn't look right at the moment for structure. So I'm either thinking we're still within this fourth wave move here, uh, or we are forming a bigger wave two, which we could be looking for a one, two, one, two situation, and then looking to break much deeper into this, um, into this move. Though, like I said, it's all speculative till we get more structure. So we just need to keep an eye on it. Well, I hope everyone finds this video useful, and uh, if you did and you haven't already, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll try and keep you up to date with, with all these videos. I hope everyone has a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.